In a sample of 50 randomly selected students at a school, 38 students eat breakfast every morning. There are 652 students in the school. Using these results, predict the number of students that eat breakfast. Well, we can use equivalent ratios to set up and solve a proportion to answer this question and predict that number of students. So we'll use the ratio of the students that eat breakfast over the total amount of students for that poll. So the first poll we had was there were 50 randomly selected students and 38 of them ate breakfast. So that will give us the ratio 38 over 50. Now we're going to set that equal to a new ratio where we have a new total amount of students. That would be the 652 students. So 652 is that new denominator. And then the unknown is we want to see out of those students, the 652, how many of them will eat breakfast. So that numerator is unknown. That's where our variable x will go. And now we've set up a proportion we can solve. We'll cross multiply doing 50 times x. So 50x equals 38 times 652. So that's a product of 24,776. And then to solve, we'll divide both sides by 50, which gives us x equals 495.52. Now, we can't have 495.52 of a student. We can't have 0.52 of a student. We're not cutting up any students here. We can't have parts of a student. We have to have our answer as a whole. So we're going to round up and say that predicting the number of students that eat breakfast out of the total of 652 students would be 496 students, making our answer choice D.